Hi guys, how are you? Welcome. Uh, my name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and Dean and I are so excited to be back here this morning at Ellis Home and Garden. I apologize for the little delay. Honey, we had to do an update on the camera system, so it took about a few minutes, but I hope you guys are having a great day and a great week, and as you join us, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, and as always, any questions or comments you guys have throughout the video, y'all drop those down below as well. Girl, what a freaking week and weekend. It was so busy, but so fun. I had my open house on Saturday, and I think they had a Black Friday preview sale here at Ellis on Saturday. So I know it was a great, fun weekend overall. I love, you know, open houses because I get to meet new people and see old friends and reconnect and all kinds of stuff. And then Sunday, um, I decided to take it easy. But, of course, it was my one day off before this whole Christmas season gets started. So I had Philip come over and we filmed my home tour for this year because last year I felt like I put it out too late. Things got too busy. So I went ahead and, and filmed it, got it taken care of so that we can uh, release it hopefully at the beginning of November. So that gives you guys plenty of time to watch it and get inspiration for your homes for 2021 for Christmas. But then after that, I sat on the couch nonstop and we watched Lock and Key until about midnight when it was over with. But it was so good. So if you guys haven't seen that show, it's really good. It's about these uh, the Stanley moved into this house, and they've got magical keys. And I know it sounds corny, but it's not. It's really good. Dina watched it, too. She loves it. So if you guys are looking for something fun to watch, it's pretty much kid-friendly, so your kids can watch it, too. But um, it's good. It's on Netflix. You've got to watch Dina in the Dark. Have you seen that? Mm -mm. Have I told you about it? About the blind girl? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. We were watching that last night. Uh, but that's what I did all day Sunday. Yesterday... It's, I don't even know what happened yesterday. Oh, I had a few clients yesterday. I've got three today. And then um, I've got clients all week, which is crazy. And then next week on the 4th, we leave 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. We'll be in San Marcos. I have an event I've got to go to, Texas Designers Roundup. So I'm excited for that. Hey, Deborah, how are you? Uh, have you fell in love with your new dog yet? I guarantee you're going to keep her. She's so sweet. Um, but anyway, guys, we're going to bring you back to our roots today, which is going to be one of our favorite items that we first started with a long time ago, which is the trucks. Usually, we use a red truck, but today we're going to use the galvanized version to show you how you can basically create almost anything in this, because the silver or the galvanized is a neutral look, so you could put any color thing with it you want. You could dress it up, uh, make it elegant, or you could kind of dress it down for the farmhouse look, so really either one. So we're going to put this together, and our item of the week this week is the truck, guys. It's 25% off at ellishomeandgarden.com. You're going to find that and so much more on there, plus a lot of the items that we're going to use today. But the truck is the item of the week, 25% off. So y'all leave us a comment. Let us know how you spent your weekend, whether you came to the open house of mine, whether you came to Ellis's Black Friday preview, whether you went to the movies. Um, I don't know if I told you guys last week, but I went a while back to see Halloween, and I was so impressed because the movie theater was packed and sold out which means that things are somewhat going back to normal, and that makes me excited because there's nothing like going to the movie theater, um, especially those hot dogs. So I'm glad that everything was working back out again. Okay, you guys ready to get started? we got a lot to dive into. I had a wonderful experience yesterday, and yes, I'm being sarcastic. I'll tell you guys about how to get my hair cut. It was a disaster. Um, so I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. And don't look too close because it's probably tragic. Okay, so I've got several florals here that we're going to start with. In the back of the truck, guys, I just put some styrofoam, covered it up with moss to camouflage the mechanics, and um, I used some greening pins to attach the moss because you never want to glue that down because it creates that hard layer and you can't get your stems through there. Okay, so we're going to start out one of my favorite items here at Ellis. I use this every year on both fall and Christmas and Halloween, which is this fabulous um, cedar spray. I think it's called Juniper on the website, but I call it cedar. But it's really pretty, and it, it's, it's like a, got a flock look to it, and so it looks very realistic. Don't smell real, but honey, spritz it with some pine, and you'll be good to go. So, let me grab my thing. Hi, Carla. I appreciate you. Thank you. So, we're going to take several of these guys and cut them in half. Okay, so they're about this size. And then we'll piece them in here in a minute in the truck, okay? So, let's cut these apart. Okay, while we did this, uh, did you see, Dina, that... Um, What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Katie and Blake broke up on The Bachelor. No. Yes, they put out a statement yesterday. I saw that coming because she's so rude, okay? So, yeah, they broke up. When he went to Africa and left her here, I was like, girl, she gone, mm -mm, that's not going to work out. Mm -hmm. But they put out this whole statement. I'm like, yo, we all know what happened. She's rude. She showed her true colors with Greg. That's how I feel. Dina might feel differently. You guys don't feel differently, but she, it wasn't her first pick. So, I feel like that's why it didn't work out. Her first yeah. pick was Greg, but then she ruined that. So, that's The Bachelor News Update. Welcome to TMZ. And then, did you guys watch Dance with the Stars last night? Um, tell me again, Dina, who your favorites were, because I forgot their names. 
Jimmy, mm -hmm. Jimmy and Jenna. He's the cowboy guy. And Iman and Daniela. Mm-hmm. That's good. Y'all, his wife, so Iman's wife, she used to like be in this Kanye West video. She's got a banging body and she can dance and stuff, but she will also strangle you. And so when he got all those 10, Morgan was like, I bet she's in the back beating somebody up to get him those scores because she's a little crazy. But anyway, uh, they have a reality show on E. It's pretty funny if you guys want to watch. But yeah, they were great. But I also love JoJo Siwa and her partner. I thought they did really good. But I was telling Gina, all these costumes were like the, uh, what do you call it? Um, prosthetics and all this stuff in the budget that they gave them. This year has been crazy. I wish they'd give Tyra a little money, but um, she was wrapped in toilet paper. You know, Ultra Charmin Ultra Soft from head to toe. What did you guys think of her outfit? I know it was Halloween, but you know, I still got to give my opinion. And I love Carrie Ann's hair. I was telling Dina that was really cool. Um, and Derek danced too, and he could do no wrong, honey. He could just sit there and twirl, and we would love it. So, y'all leave your thoughts on Dinner with the Stars and who you think is going to win, okay? Did you watch um, Bachelorette last week? Yes, I did. Okay. Let me think what I was going to say. Oh, okay. I think that they... Okay. How do I want to put this? Guys, I'm going to take this greenery and I'm going to place it in the back of the truck. You're going to create yourself basically a layer of greenery. And this is going to form your shape. So make sure you put and piece the greenery where you want to form your shape. Okay. The guy that she sent home. I saw both sides of that, in my opinion. Like, I felt like, yeah, it was creepy. But... I can't say I wouldn't do the same thing. Not to that extent, probably. I think he had, like, her blood type and stuff. But if I was going on a show and I was nervous, that would not give me peace of mind. And some people operate like that. Or do you really think he's a creep? Well, considering some of the guys who didn't know what was going on in the beginning were saying, well, he said that he's been in the Bachelor loop for a while, but he was telling her only a couple of weeks. And I was going, okay, maybe he really is a creep. Creeper. Okay, so we're going to go creep. Okay, if you watch Bachelor, leave a comment. Creep or no creep. Okay, we want to know. Okay, I've got three pieces in so far, guys, and I'm just going to continue filling in with this. And I've got a really pretty lighter snow flock piece of greenery that we'll add in next. Um, okay, I'm trying to think. Do you know who else I like? The guy was really cute that was in the table. Like, when he got out, I was like, hello. Um... But there was someone there I just didn't care for. And I can't, it's too early, y'all. I can't remember their names. But I just wasn't thoroughly impressed. But she is very pretty. She's got a great loving family. But I have to tell you one thing. I'm all for high heels. And I respect people who can wear them all day because I think you should. Okay? Like Beyonce, love her because she can wear high heels all day. But girl, those stairs. Like how many times did she walk up down them stairs? And I'm like, you need to take off them shoes, put on some sneakers. You know? But anyway, yeah, I love her. Okay, y'all. Look how pretty that is. See, it's just... Uh, small enough to where it makes the perfect little um, base for everything that we're going to add. Okay, we need to cut off one more piece and we'll put on here and then we'll be good to go. I called a minute ago, y'all. Josh was still asleep and I left him a voice message. You know, you can do that. I was driving and I haven't heard from him, so that means he didn't do anything I said. So. I need him to bring me some balls from the house that I was supposed to put on somebody's tree because I forgot them. So that means when I get done here, I'm going to have to call and strangle him. Okay, y'all. I love, love, love that first layer that we put on there attempting to reconnect. Is your safe frozen? Mm-mm. It says connection lost. Thank you, Odd Problem. Look, here we go. We're connected. So, guys, I got the green ring on there. Now, I always give, no matter what the project is that I'm working on, I give starting and stopping places depending on what you want to spend or your budget. And you could totally stop here. Add a little ribbon, add an ornament, and you're done. These trucks are so small and simple that it doesn't take a lot to really fill these out. Okay? So now that we have the greenery on here, hi, Julie. We're going to take this next one. Look how pretty this is, guys. This is like a fern leaf that you would use in the spring, but it's blocked with snow. So I love it. Or sprinkled, really. It's not blocked. So let's cut this apart. <clears throat> okay. Can we talk? Let me tell you what happened to me yesterday. So, for weeks, it seems like, I've been trying to get a haircut, okay? My guy was gone for a little bit. Then my guy had COVID. Then I rescheduled and had a hair appointment for last week. He had a migraine, which I totally get. No, nothing against him. But my hair was so long, I could have literally, I mean, I was like Fabio, and I only have 13 hairs. So, when it gets that long, I kind of look like the robber from Dennis the Menace. <clears throat> so... I was like desperate. My hair was awful. I needed to get it cut. So I 
was going to go to Sports Clips, okay? I haven't been there since I was probably seven. And so I called Sports Clips, and I'm like, hey, do you have a wait right now? And they said, no, we don't have a wait. I was five minutes away. I get there in five minutes. Girl, there's a 25-minute wait, okay? So I sit in there, and first of all, it reeks in there like a porta potty. Like, it smells like old sewer, old hair, you know, ugh. So I was sitting in the lobby thinking, oh, my God, I'm about to walk out of here. I just can't do this. And um, so anyway, 25 minutes goes by, and this girl comes and calls my name. And uh, she says, uh, you know, she says, Dylan. I said, okay. So I start walking back there, and she's like, how you doing, girl? That's how she was talking. She said, girl. And I was like, girl, what, what are you doing? Like, is this, you know, Monsters, Inc.? She said, what's up, girl? And I was like, oh, good. How are you? And so I sit down in the, in the chair, and I was already kind of irritated. But then my whole mood changed, honey, because I noticed that she had two tattoos, one above each eyebrow, and it said, hi there. And I was like, I saw that on an episode of Snap, Prison Tats. And I was like, you do not want to mess with her. Uh -huh. So anyway, she said, what can I do to your hair? <clears throat> but she was talking all crazy. And she's like, what can I do for your hair, girl? And I was like, well, you can uh, do this, 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 this. And she sat there after I got down, and she was holding her chest like this. And she goes, girl, that is a lot of information. And I was like, oh, Lord. And so <clears throat> she starts to get the clippers out, and she puts the clip on the clippers. And she's waving it around, talking like, girl, all these kids was in here the other day, and they are so, they uh, freaking suck. But she used the other word. I'm already thinking, okay, unprofessional. And all of a sudden, she gets that clipper, like the clippers are on. She gets it hung in the back of my hair, and it's going, Rrr, like that clipper was hung up. And I was like, oh, my God, is everything okay? And she was like, uh, oh, it's fine, honey. It just needs some oil. <clears throat> and so she takes the clipper out, and she gets this bottle of oil out and sprays oil all over the top of the clippers. Dripping, honey. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I'm still worried about the back of my hair, because have you all ever seen Home Alone 3 when he gets run over with the lawnmower? That's exactly how I was thinking about the back of my head, because she literally got it stuck in there and had to pull it out, and it was pulling my hair. So, she cuts the whole bottom with the clippers, and then I have, like, this ring around the top where you're supposed to blend it, and she was going to be done, and I was like, girl, I have, like, a little ring right here. What's this? And she's like, oh, girl, we can fix that, and I was like, okay, I'm not a girl. Thank you. You called me that ten times, and so she gets that out, and then she says, you off work today, and I said, no, actually, I, um, uh, actually, I said, I am off work. I had some clients and stuff like that. She's like, girl, I love Christmas, and then she starts uh, cutting the top of my hair. And we get that done. And so while this is going on, I'm just listening. And I said, so, and she kept saying me and my boyfriend, me and my boyfriend. And I said, so, uh, she's like, well, you know, this is really my second day of haircut. And I said, uh, second, what'd she say? This is my second haircut. And I said, like today? And she says, no, my new haircut career. She said, I just graduated. I just went, I just left Walmart. And she says, and I met my boyfriend there. He was so pretty. She said, I met him in the automotive department in Walmart. I thought, oh, God. And so, um, anyway, I, now I'm really nervous. So then she gets the haircut done. It looks a little bit okay. So then she says, it's time for you to go get a wash because I'm going to give you the VIP treatment. That's what it was called, the VIP. And I said, okay, MVP is what it's called. She takes me back to the massage chair, throws me back in the chair. And before I even know it, honey, she pushes some button and my feet fly up like I'm, you know, I don't know, getting a pap smear. I don't know. And uh, then she is, uh, put, she slings a wet towel on my face. And, you know, you're supposed to have a hot towel. It was a wet towel she probably cleaned the toilet with. So it was all on my face. And the chair is massaging, so I'm laying there like this, you know. And she starts putting all the shampoo on my head, and she just starts patting like this. Like, no, you know, nothing. And I'm like, girl, you're going to have to get in there because um, I have product in my hair. So you're going to have to rinse it out. And she's like, oh, girl, okay, I got this. And that's what she's talking. So she's rambling the whole time. I'm worried about where this rag came from. It's on my face. And so then um, we get out of there. And I sit down in the chair. Three house line one, please. Three house line one. And she gives me this towel. She's like, girl, you have to dry your hair. And I was like, okay. So I dry my hair. And I'm sitting there, and it's dripping on the back of my neck. And she all of a sudden pulled out this big old wand, honey. I'm like, girl, what are you doing? And she's like, girl, we're going to give you the, VM, the VIP massage. And so then she takes this big old thing, like a jackhammer, puts it on my shoulders. My teeth are chattering. Like, that's why I was a little bit late this morning, because I lost three fillings in my back, three teeth, because that thing was literally beating so bad, and my whole head was like this. And she was like, girl, this thing just don't glide like it used to. And I'm thinking, oh, God, neither did your clippers, because you got those hung up in all four in the back of my head. So anyway, when we... When we um, when I left there, I was like, oh, Jesus. So I looked in the car. Oh, and I asked her for a hard part, which a hard part is where you take the clippers very thin, okay, and you cut a part in your head. And she did it, but it doesn't even show up because I guess the clippers were so dull. And so anyway, I'm going to have to get Josh to do the hard part. But uh, when I got in the car, I noticed that I had this big white wall over here on the side of my head. So besides that, I have to say the experience was okay. Um, but I will never go back there again just because, first of all, they need to get their sewer changed. It smells like a dirty diaper in there. 
and it was unprofessional. The girl was crazy. She was saying how kids suck and that she hates kids and da 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 da. It was just ugh. So anyway, that's what I did yesterday on my uh, day that I had for an hour. I used three or four of those. Oh guys, I'm so sorry. Welcome back. I'm gonna get myself together. This is a um, galvanized truck. We're doing it, and I used four total of the cedar and the juniper sprays and rebecca will post the shopping list later guys so if you have trouble locating some stuff you can find it okay okay now we're going to take this really pretty snowy piece and we're going to mix this in <clears throat> so while i do this i want to know i don't care if you're an adult i want to know about your kids everything you tell me and dina what you guys whether it's your kids whether it's you whether it's your friends what y'all are dressing up for as halloween you know are you dressing up for anyone? Mm -hmm. What are you wearing? Baby Yoda. Oh, Lord. Is that from Star Wars? Yes. I've never seen Star Wars, y'all. She loves that movie. Uh, well, what are y'all? If I had to go to a Halloween party and dress up, I think I would dress up as a Sanderson sister. <laughs> That's probably what I would wear. Or Cruella. I don't know. I okay. got a Baby Yoda onesie, and I got Baby Yoda slippers and some... Do you have a lot of treaters at your mom's house? No. She lives out in the country, yeah. right? Okay. All right, guys, so we're filling in with this fabulous snowy spray. Let's see. And this should be on the website, too. And I love it because it's almost like a, a regular greenery, but it's snowy, so I love it. And I'm just creating a base, and then I've got some antlers. Wait till y'all see those. They're really fabulous. Hi, Sammy. I'm glad you caught us live, too, girl. Hope you're doing well. I keep getting my back stuck on this thing. Okay. Look how pretty that is, guys. Oh, my gosh, a deer. That's funny. Okay. Now that we have that done, we're going to take a little bit of a berry spray, okay? This is just a red berry spray. This is going to give us some color, but keep us in the rustic, you know, family, I guess we could say. I'm going to butcher her name. Okay. Moselle. Okay, Moselle. How you doing, girl? Son's eighth grade class is in charge of a haunted house at the school. The theme is the witching hour. Oh, my gosh. I'm just so excited to hear that they're having a haunted house at the school. You know, nowadays, people think everything's demonic, okay? You get a, you get a pumpkin in there. Oh, you're a demon. No, but let me tell you something funny. I had a client yesterday who um, came in and bought these fairies that I have for sale, and uh, they're like these huge fairies. They have elaborate faces and eyelashes and stuff, and... Uh, Right before I showed it to her, I thought they were creepy, and I've never, I've always said that. It's not been a secret. And so one of my team members said, that looks like a straight-up demon. And as soon as she said that, um, the client didn't hear her, and she says, I've already named her and everything. We were like, what'd you name her? And she said, Annabelle. And I was like, girl, have you seen that movie, Annabelle? That was a demon. And she was like, I know, but I love that name for my, for my fairy. I pronounced it right, yes. Oh, awesome. Moselle, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. I like that name. Okay, look guys, I put a little bit of the red berries in there. They're clusters, so you got to be careful and make sure you spread them out as we go. Hi, Gary from East Tennessee. How are you? Did you say you're going to Disney soon or Tennessee or something? Yeah, it got canceled. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> now, uh, these days, everything always ends if they got canceled. You know, with all COVID and traveling, all that stuff. Jessica's got two costumes, Maleficent and Beetlejuice. Oh my gosh, I love Maleficent. It's one of my favorite movies. Angelina Jolie is a vampire. She never ages, and she looks great. Mazel says he attends a Catholic school and was so excited. I'm excited, too. I'm very excited. I did, you know, I did a video on Halloween one time on my YouTube channel, a home tour. You guys can go look at it under Designs by Dylan. And I had so many comments tell me that was demonic because I had Halloween Village. I'm like, girl, I don't have skeletons hanging from the ceiling. I don't have, you know, guts spilling out in the front yard. But I'm a demon. That would be Dina. Yeah, she's over there like, mm, she does. And my neighbors have heads hanging from their trees and stuff. So I'm like, you should, I should, only I should film down the street. They get a few comments, but I find it comical. Okay, I'm adding in the red berries, y'all. Don't y'all love how that snowy spray makes this look? 
Okay, look at this, y'all. This is a new spray I just found at Ellis. Now, I know I give my mom a bunch of junk for uh, hunting and fishing because, you know, they'd love that. And I'm not a fan of deer heads on the wall by any means, but I love, love, love using antlers in any of my Christmas and especially fall stuff. And I found these antler picks that they have here at Ellis, and there's three small ones here on a stem. So I'm going to use these separately and piece these in the truck. Hi, Phyllis. It's good to see you. Sharia's going to Disney in about 70 days. Sharia, I'm jealous. Me too. Can you take me and Dana? We'll come with you. Just give us a corn dog. We'll be happy. Did you go to the Embry? You ever been to that before? I used to go all the time. I've never been there. Is it fun? Is it like that? Basically, like a long fair. Okay. Are you getting on any of them rides? No. Don't okay. do the rides anymore. At all? Even at Six Flags? My my vertigo has me messed up with rides now. Well, you need to take a um, what do you call it? Like a some type of pill before you get on where you just don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't do water slides. You want water slides? I'm terrified. I'm afraid I'll drown, and I'm a good swimmer. But um, it's just something, I can't do it. It gives me anxiety thinking about getting in that tube. And then on the roller coasters, I'll do them, but I do not want to go backwards because it hurts my neck. And I've been to the chiropractor way too many times. But I'll do a huge roller coaster because some of them are smooth, you know, but I just don't want to go backwards. Okay, y'all. I added in all of those berries. You like the little touches of the antlers in there? Super pretty and fun. Now, again, you guys could do... Oh, Sherry, tell her we say congratulations. That's awesome. Um, you guys can do this in anything that you want. Again, the truck is the item of the week, so it's a galvanized truck. It's 25% off. And I'm trying to think what else. A lot of these stems, guys, can be found at ellisonmygarden.com. Another substitution is you can add ribbon to this. You can add some ornaments to this. So there's so many things you could do. Or if you wanted to, you could put live flowers in the back here because it does come with a plastic liner in there, so you can use it for either purpose. Phil Stillman and I have already seen it the whole season. Oh, yes. Lock and Key? Mm-hmm. I watched it all Sunday. When did you watch it? Friday and Saturday. Yeah, it was very, very good. And I was so hoping, Dina, that that guy wasn't going to be a jerk because he was good for her. That The one that was like the teacher? Yeah. Yeah, he was cute. Yeah. You going to find the little antlers and put on the front like you did last oh, year? Oh, my gosh, y'all. One year I got so much trash from people. Uh, because I took one of the antlers and I made like a, what do you call it? Like a hood ornament. Like a hood ornament, yeah. I put it on the top of the hood or the front of the grill of the truck. Girl, I had so many people coming after me, so I'm not doing that this year. But you could. I, I thought it was funny. But you could take a little piece of garland or a pick and make it round and put a little wreath on the front of the truck, too. That'd be fun. So, all right, guys. Well, I love you for watching. I hope you have a fabulous week. Stay safe out there. Have fun. And uh, have a happy Halloween. My God, I can't believe it's, I mean, next week is November, so... Sunday's Halloween, so y'all have a fabulous happy Halloween. Make sure you share your photo. Send them to me, even. Designs by Dylan. I want to see, and I can't wait to see what y'all do. I have a I have clients all weekend and Sunday, and then Sunday night we have a birthday party to go to for our friend's son, which we always go to, and it's on a Sunday night, which I'm kind of grateful for, which means we can go to bed early. You know, if it's on a Saturday night, God knows when that's going to end, but girl and kids got to go back to school, so I'm excited. All right, guys, love you for watching. Check us out, ellishomemygarden.com. You guys can find me on at Facebook at Designs by Dylan. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye.